I a good a good thing. Uh, let's 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 bring the tone of the show down a little bit because it is it is Windows Death Day, guys. <laughs> Not all of Windows. Some of the balloons will make it in the shot. Some of the balloons will make it in the shot. There we go. It's Windows. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we saw most of them, but um, yeah, there, there, we got balloons. <laughs> it's Windows Death Day. I figure we we're going to celebrate the life and times, the uh, the years. Oh my God, these balloons are everywhere. We'll, we'll work on the memories. We we'll work on the memories of Windows XP. Uh, of course, I, the big thing is the security concerns because I have it on a few machines here. Mm -hmm. I think most of our banks have ATMs that run them. Um, and I'm wondering how that goes. I got a HIPAA compliance uh, thing in the mail from my one client uh, to make sure I don't have them. Oh, that is a sad one. That one was just, that, that balloon was just too sad for Windows Death Day. That's not good <laughs> at all. That's, that's not okay. Um, for those of you listening at home. Oh, man. It is a little green shriveled balloon. It, I got to find my mouse so I can switch shots. I guess, I'm just going to be stuck on me for a bit. Um, uh, so, 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 uh, I mean, what I want do? Do any of you have anything running at Windows XP? I actually had a, a, a virtual machine run an XP um, for some work stuff, and I actually uh, just recently switched it over to Windows Seven. So I think that's that was the last of the XP devices. I bet you I might have like a laptop sitting around somewhere that I can throw something else on. Um, I preferred XP on all my machines personally, mm -hmm. but I've been recently trying to upgrade anything that I had that was Windows based. I've been trying to, to, to upgrade to to at least seven, if not eight. Hey, for me, I, I've been kind of avoid. I've, I I almost completely avoided Vista, of course, uh, and I'm just now uh, kind of getting some Windows seven on some machines. Uh, but moving to Mac, I, that was kind of you know, obvious. Uh, so, so how how did this last so long? <laughs> oh, well, here, you know what? Um, the all the delivery machines and monitors and all that equipment in the hospital, all mm -hmm. Windows XP. Oh yeah, completely, mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think um, sheets because I, I at some point fairly recently I was absorbing something at New Sheets in Rochester, and uh, the, the 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 touch screen just reset itself. Yeah, and suddenly, and suddenly, there's the, the the picture that you know with the field and the music and and, and that stuff. Um, it's like, oh, okay, Windows XP. Also, I need to order my lunch because I don't have that much time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't have any uh, the XP stuff personally. Um, I my my laptop runs eight, which I actually kind of like. Um, I, I know of a, a, a newspaper in Beaver County that has you know probably a hundred or so machines uh, Windows uh, XP. Running and our, our IT guy is is not concerned about this. He seems to be prepared for a a, a gradual, uh, easy transition, probably to, to Windows Seven is what I would imagine. But and I imagine but like right now, everyone in the, everyone in my newsroom sort of it's it, you know they saw they got emails today or or saw uh, wire stories and they're like. We run Windows XP in here, don't we? Oh my God! <laughs> See, and even more so, uh, there. And I got it when I booted up the computers here today. Uh, you're going to start getting a dialog box periodically mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, uh, we don't support this anymore. You might want to upgrade." I I, mm -hmm. I took a picture of it earlier, actually. Um, but thank you. There's my phone. Um, <laughs> lost in all these balloons. Um, but uh, so so I mean, people are going to remind it, and I wonder. Well, I guess it could be disabled on most of them if they rolled it out. Still work on these balloons, um, but uh, uh, wow! Because I, I remember so, so large companies. Large companies do have the option of paying for extended, extended, extended support. Okay, um, mm -hmm. that ex that that support is 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 not cheap at all. I want to say it starts, and Krauss probably might know the the, the true dollar value to this. I want to say it starts at a million dollars. Oh, jeez. Um, and then for every vulnerability that that would affect your company, it's an additional fifty thousand per patch. I can I can um, tell you um, with complete certainty that my company is not paying for that. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, and, and I think I think what we'll see is, I think if if we make it out of the next thirty days um, with without any major attacks, I, I think that'll. I don't think I think you're going to see people rush to attack. They're not going to give it. Ah, eh, we'll give them four months and then and then try to try to go after the machine. So I, it'll it'll be an interesting thing to see see what what happens because a lot of times what what normally happens is um the white hat hackers um find a vulnerability alert the company the company then creates patch nobody tells anybody that the vulnerability is there till after the patch comes out now you're going to have all uh, and what they're saying is more than likely or or a, or there's a vulnerability out in the wild that someone's exploiting and then they patch and then fix what they're saying is as people have been saving up vulnerabilities that they knew about and then they're they're all going to go crazy over the next couple of weeks so only time will tell this this kind of same thing happens to to apple that's how the jailbreaks work mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. usually when they're trying to figure out an exploit to jailbreak a device they'll find a couple they only use one of them and then when apple patches that then they use another one it's kind of that cat and mouse game the issue here is is that Microsoft is not providing patches any longer. And then I've heard I think Chrome Chrome will continue to patch their browser. So if it's a if it's a vulnerability that's related to browser, they'll patch their browser for XP. Um, I can't remember. There was a couple companies that are going to continue to support, even though Microsoft's not supporting XP. These other companies will will still support XP, which is kind of interesting. I, I want to say that Avast antivirus was going to continue to support XP. So uh, only time will tell. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of these, like your Sheets computers and everything, I mean, they're they're not going to, I think, succumb a lot of attacks. Um, those guys are pretty much like in-house. Uh, a lot of other embedded stuff that maybe isn't network connected, I don't think they're going to worry about. They're going to ride those things into the ground. At this point, um, I think the closest. I want to say the, the, the UK government actually yeah. admitted that they're going to have to pay the, the Microsoft tax. Oh wow! It was five point five. Oh, wow. Was it euros or pounds? Um, it was either, it was five point five something. But it's it's uh, millions of. Yeah, which their their exchange rate is like. <laughs> every one of theirs is like one one pound is like fifty cents, I think, or something mm -hmm. like that. So. Solid amount. Or 75 cents, something like that. So, And, and it's not like... No